It's time for another episode of Rotten Mornings. The best way to start your mornings off rotten. Welcome to another episode, a bonus special episode of Rotten Mornings. Yes, welcome to an, another boners episode of Rotten Mornings. I can hear my echo. You can hear your echo? A little bit, yeah. All right, you want to try it again? Do you? Does it sound good to you? It sounds okay to me. All right, well, then we're good. You, you sound a little metallic. Metallic. Uh, I think it's okay. All right, cool. And then uh, let me listen to it, and if it's good, we'll we'll try it one more time. All right. Oh, we never, we never, we didn't leave. Oh, well, we never left. Oh, uh, hey, very special episode, a bonus episode of Rotten Mornings. That's right, guys. Welcome to the boners episode of Rotten Morning. Did you, boners episode? That's what you said. I said boners? Yeah, you said this was the boners episode. Guys, this is all, all boners all the time. Well, <laughs> well. well uh well uh I'm I'm Scott. Hold on, I'll be mad in a second. I gotta go back in the in the room with everybody. Hold on, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're in, going in the room. Going in the room. All right. I am Matt. Good for you. Yay! You just say your name. Your name. I'm. I'm Brandy. <laughs> I'm Graham. All right. Well, that was torturous. Yay. Yeah. Aren't you guys? Aren't you? Aren't you guys mad that we started this podcast? Uh, aren't you guys mad? Yeah. yeah aren't you guys, aren't you guys mad? Wow. This is unlistenable. All of you were saying it was dog butt. Dog butt. Dog butt. What are you guys doing? What are you guys, are you guys just hanging out? Yeah, we're just hanging out. We're, uh, we're eating snacks. Eating snacks. We're on TikTok Live. Is that, is that great? No. T- tuna. Why would you think it was good? He offered me grit earlier. No, I didn't. No, you did. Grit. Grit. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. So, anyways. Oh, yeah. Rotten morning. What did we have this morning? Nothing. All right, cool. What do we got tomorrow? Nothing. Nothing. Cool. Awesome. We're going to a chocolate party. Oh, we're going to a party tomorrow. Oh, that's fun. Um, uh, the audio's is super off. We're going to eat macaroni. I don't know why the the audio is super bad right now. Because Urza's in the audio. Urza is in the audio. He's trying to figure out why your voice is coming out of the black box. My voice is coming out of a what? Black box. A blank box? Oh yeah, that, that's it. Yeah. That's I, I like I can barely hear what I mean I could I can hear the volume of you guys, but I can't like it's hard to make out the what the fuck you're saying this of you guys. We can hear you. Do you wanna try again? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, this yeah. has been rotten morning. <laughs> yeah, I guess we need to try again because I don't think this is something we can publish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so far it's good. So far, these are two solid ones so far. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna jump off here and then uh, let me. I'll try it one more, one more again. Okay. One, one more, more again. again. All right. Give me a minute. Ah. God damn it. Whoa, shit, what? Oh. Hi. Hi. Hey, guys, and welcome to a special bonus episode of Rotten Mornings. Wait, you're going to do that again? <laughs> Rotten Mornings. Rotten Mornings, guys. It's a fucking podcast. Welcome to it. Podcast! I realize the audio is terrible on half the people that are on this podcast. More than half. 100%. 
<laughs> it's 100 percent bad. Yeah. Well, but we wanted to do a special episode because um, we've had a we've had a few extra things that have come out since the season ended, and we kind of wanted to talk about those things. Did we? Yeah. <laughs> I got another thing I haven't even uploaded yet. You know what? I'll upload it tomorrow. What is it? It's behind the scenes at Netherworld. Oh yeah. Well, that's fun because I just recorded a, a review for Thirteenth Gate. Nice, nice. Yeah. So I was hoping maybe I'd try to get that up for tomorrow, but I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever stop talking. Did we did the um, behind the scenes from Insanatorium to Interium Sanitarium. Fuck. Take a shot. Well, that, one, <laughs> that one's already been released. Right. Yeah, that one's been released. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, that one has been released. There was another behind the scenes that was released. There was a um, uh, a bonus episode of Brandy Story Shelf Haunt shit. Yeah. Haunted shelf, you idiot. Haunted shit. There you go. Hello. Sorry, we're talking to live and you. Oh. Uh, well, the live happened last night, right, guys? Right. Right. We're not, we're not live right now in the morning, are we? Yes. Because <laughs> it's rotten morning. Rotten morning. Yeah, and today is the, I don't know what today is. It is, now that you mention it, I think it's. The 13th. Saturday. The 32th? The 13th. <laughs> oh, wow. And people were wanting more of this, huh? <laughs> Nobody said that. No, we just said we mentioned it. I don't really know why we thought about that. It was just like a thing missing from our lives. And we're like, hey, that was a part of our lives that we did every day. And, and now we don't. Well, I think it's like the nostalgia thing. If you get enough distance between you and anything you've done, you can remember it good. It's like, oh, yeah, we used to do something. Yeah, no, I think it was good. It's been enough time, right? We had a good season, right, guys? I think we had an awesome season. Yeah. Yeah. It was phenomenal, and I loved it. Well, that's fun. I guess so. Yeah, we got we got to go to a haunt out of season. Actually, we got to go to two different haunts out of season because Hellbilly Hollow actually had their Hell Night. Another one, yeah. Yeah, they're two point oh. How was that? Crazy. Bad fucking ass. Uh, oh god, it was so fun. That's awesome. And then, like, there were so many different haunts out there too. Yes, man. it was fucking chaos inside there. Everybody was going crazy. That's that's awesome. Um, I hate that I, I missed that, and then uh, and then you guys got to hit Netherworld. And, uh, yeah, Netherworld was a uh, super cool. Oh, is that is that your guys' first trip to their new new building? Yeah, yes, yes, it is. It was did nice. you guys did, did you guys do the um, the museum? No, it was late. I think you guys have pretty much seen all the museum because I've pretty much posted pictures of everything that's in it. Yeah. Um, well, we did. Um, it's Grim's first time ever being in Netherworld at all. Carrie oh, that's too. awesome. Oh, and Carrie, too. Yeah. And Jacob. And Jacob, yeah. Well, it's, uh, I mean, as far as... Sorry, keep talking. They're talking to the live. Oh. As far as like museum haunts go, Netherworld's definitely, definitely one of my favorites. Agreed. Man, they just had shit on top of shit on top of shit in there. Everywhere. There was shit everywhere. <laughs> Everybody was taking a shit. Well, well, I, uh, so I was really kind of expecting the same thing at 13th Gate, and I didn't get that. I got a different experience. Really? Yeah. Never been to 13th Gate. What was that like? Um, 
Who worked there that we know? Does Cannabilia work there? I Cannabella? Yeah, they she's in Florida. I thought there was somebody we knew from there. I was thinking so too, but I couldn't I was trying to think on the way there, but I couldn't remember. Uh well I tell you what was kinda neat. Right off the gate, like waiting in line, the people in front of me own a haunt in Missouri. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they own uh, Hell Harvest, and uh, I got to talk to them about Rotten, and, and they got talking about their haunt. This is their third year, and uh, they were just super cool, so I went through the haunt with them, and then afterwards, we, we shot a little video of, of them doing a little review on the haunt. And, uh, oh, that's awesome, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, so that was kind of fun. They said like they get like three hundred people a night. And this is their third year, and I, I think that's that's pretty banger. Yeah, that's pretty banger, dude. <laughs> but the, uh, I'll tell you what, uh, there was so in the thirteenth thirteenth uh, gate. There's thirteen different haunts. Oh, like, okay. You just, you just like transition from one to the. It's not like Halloween Horror Nights, right? Oh, okay. But uh, the first one I went into, I was like. Wow, this is not terribly exciting. Um, cause I, oh, the first one was the Sweeney Todd meat pies. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, so it was all like really pretty and like like the set design is really neat. But I don't know, there was some there wasn't music or something. Like there was something missing that was a whole element missing. Uh, but the people were, were good that were there, and uh, the sets were, were really pretty, but they weren't like Netherworld where it's just you could stand in one room for an hour and figure out everything. Yeah. You know what I'm yes. Like, Netherworld is like a Where's Waldo of shit. Like, it's just an oh. onslaught. Dude, it's not even just of stuff. There's like animatronics like hidden inside of all the animatronics. It's yeah. weird. Yeah, or like that, your attention is drawn to something on the right, and there's something going on to the left and above you and in front of you, and like it was nuts. Yeah, um, and that that's I, that's what I love about Netherworld, but it's also like the also a thing that I that bothers me about Netherworld because I'm like I just went through the whole haunt, and I could go through it again. And not see anything I just saw. Yeah, we uh, had so many people like run into it because we were walking really slow. We had to let like six different groups go around us. Oh, the last time that I had Shay with me, knew Scott, and uh, she told the group walking into us, we're gonna not go. <laughs> And it was like I was like you could do that. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, but uh, in the thirteenth gate, the second room was like a plague room. I mean, the second like it's not even like the next room. The whole scene uh, was like the bub the bubonic plague, and they had one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Like I, I was like, okay, this is a bubonic plague, cool, cool, whatever. But then they had a. A half birth control? Uh, birth control. Nope. A uh, birth control? Okay. Yeah. What does that mean? Yeah, they had a half birth canal. Uh, uh. But that, that was super well lit, and it was bodies. So instead of doing like a laser lake, they did, it was like just corpses everywhere, and you're wading through the corpses. Oh, that's oh, awesome. Wow. Yeah, and in the corpses, there's, like, actors that are popping out, like, help me, I'm not dead, and stuff like that. It was like, oh, oh shit. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, and then, so that room was like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm digging this. And then the other room that got me, I did not expect. I swear to you, I didn't expect it. Because, like, we go out of that, and then we're, like, in a pirate room. And, like, I don't know, man, pirate, pirate rooms are never... Yeah, they had a badass pirate area at, at, at Netherworld. <laughs> yeah, Netherworld has the badass, like, broken ship that you're, like, falling over and yeah. shit. Yeah, and they had this, um, their tunnel near the ship was, like, 
the whole bow of the ship like rocking back and forth to the water while you were going across the bridge. Yes. Like I almost like flipped over the bridge because I didn't expect it to move and then it like shifted and I was like, oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, they had like full room hanging from chains from the ceiling. So the whole room, which was like easily, you know, a hundred foot by a hundred foot square hanging from the ceiling that you walked on. So the whole move the whole room like shifted and slammed into the corners and shit. Yeah. And that shit Netherworld does that shit badass. Uh thirteenth gate did it okay. It, it felt like I was in a boat that was on the dock. That's awesome. I especially like the corpse thing. That's really cool. Um but walking out of this wooded area, uh, like wooden area, I walk into the next wooden area that is, I didn't realize it, a fucking cabin. And then, like, we're inside a cabin, and then all of a sudden, the curtains blow up, and this wind is whooshing into the room, and the door flies open, and a goddamn chick flies at us, and it's an evil dead room. And then... Um, oh, no. Yeah, and then from the floor, like the basement uh, opens up, and she's screaming from the basement, you know, oh, that's like, nice. join us, join us. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck is happening? I'm so happy. That's awesome. Oh, I love it. Yeah, there's like a, and then like you walk from that room into the next room, there's the recording of the, um, the Necronomicon being uh, translated, like that's playing and shit. Yeah. No. But then, like, there was a room, and I was trying to, oh, I, I know what it reminded me of. It kind of reminded me of the room in, oh, fuck, I'm fucking it up. What's the what's the place that Tutu worked at with the boxes? Containment. containment. Yeah, containment. It kind of reminded me of this room in containment, because, like, now there's, like, walls, and, like, it's a cave, and it's kind of cold. Oh, nice. Like, is this going to be a Yeti thing? But, like, the walls open up and the ceiling, like, goes way up. So you're in a huge cavern, right? And I'm like, is this Yeti? Is this Yeti? And then you see a caveman and you're like, oh, this is not fucking Yeti. And then you see a full-on woolly mammoth that you walk behind and he farts on you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Does he literally fart on you? Yes. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it's like a fart horn and air is being blown out of that dude, and it is fucking awesome. It's like a fart horn. It's like a foghorn. <laughs> <laughs> that was the <laughs> uncle to foghorn leg horn. Fart horn. Yeah. Leg horn. Fart horn. It was, it was, uh, fart horn mammoth horn. <laughs> You're an idiot. Mine was better. Boo. Yeah. Um, and then uh, there was another room where you're in a castle, and it doesn't feel like you're on a set. It feels like you're in a castle, and uh, Vampire Hunter is trying to attack or trying to kill this female vampire, and she's on fucking uh, wires, and she is flying around the room and flying at you while she is avoiding him attacking her. Oh, well, that's badass. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there was some cool shit, and they had like a midway, and they had all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, I'd love to see that. We had super fun in the midway at Netherworld. They had a um, electric chair like acting scene that we had fun playing in. Yes, dude, the midway at Netherworld is one of the best midways, and I always talk about that midway because the photo opportunities that Netherworld presents in that midway. Nobody comes close to. No, and I'll say this about Netherworld. The Midway before that was just in the parking lot was nothing compared to the way they've got it set up now. Not at all. The Midway is worth the price of admission. Yeah. Oh. And that's one of the things they talk about at going to the, like Netherworld on the weekends after Haunt is because you can really – because when we were in the Midway, there weren't a ton of people there, and there was just a bunch of actors – I mean, there was a decent little group of people, but nothing comparatively. I mean, shit, we didn't even hardly wait to go in the haunt. We were almost in the haunt walking in the door. Yeah. That's that's a rare 
uh, delight there, sir. Yes, no kidding. We got tickets for like 8 o'clock to 8.30 slot, and we got there around 7.45, and we just went straight in. They were like, you're good. You, you got tickets for 8. That'll be fine. Just go ahead and go. Yep. Hell yeah. Dude, I can't tell you the days I have waited in that fucking line. Right? Yeah, look, they have an extensive line set up, but we didn't have to wait through it. Yeah, no, we just walked through all of it. I think uh, what's what's cool about like, like like for me, what I really enjoy is when you actually get out of the outside line and you're in the inside line. That inside lobby area that's like a cathedral. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and the fucking uh, chandeliers are like the chandeliers alone are just. Yeah. Everything in that we room didn't, is gorgeous. We didn't spend very much time in that room, honestly. Yeah, no, because we there was nobody there. Like it was all it was all of us turning around and running into each other to try to look at everything as we were ushered out of the room. Everything yeah. was so beautiful and just elaborate. It was gorgeous. You guys still there? Yeah. yeah we died. Okay. Uh, I thought I may have. I went under a bridge, so I thought maybe the phone disconnected. The distortion. A little bit of distortion. Uh, cool. Well, um, that's great, man. I'm glad that you guys got to do that. It, you know, I was thinking today, like uh, I didn't, I didn't make New Orleans Nightmare this year, or Terror on the Coast, but we did get to hit. Uh, haunts in Florida, haunts in Georgia, haunts in New Orleans, and we went to uh, Tennessee for uh, CreepyCon. Uh, yeah. So all in all, man, we we actually we, we had a that's bigger footprint. Podcast. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Very true. Right. Uh, and that's pretty exciting. Agreed. We got to, we got to see uh, brand new haunts opening up. We got to see haunts that are re-emerging. I mean, shit, yeah. man. That's, that's Hey, Distortion, tip. we're recording a podcast. The person on the phone is Scott Autry. Who, who are you talking to? The live. From last what? night. From this morning. You're talking about last night's live? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Fuck confusing me, you asshole. Hey, what, uh, do we, uh, we have some, uh, we talked about a couple of things that might be put up in the next day or two, but is there, uh, anything else you've got kind of, uh, penciled in? Well, we have a couple of different projects we're working on. We're actually writing, uh, for a little, uh, uh we want to shoot like a movie with Hellbilly, uh, the, um, the review company idea that we pitched back in the day for Spook Trail, and I've been writing on it. Okay. That sounds like fun. Um, yeah, man, like after, after October, it just things will keep coming. We'll continue to have content, and, and uh, we'll continue to do lives and lots of TikToks and shit like that, but, uh, Woo, that was a big fucking season. Yeah, it was. I can't wait to get some more good stuff back in here so we can do some more popcorn reviews. It is. Yeah, man. Uh, they're all gearing up for their next season, too. Yeah. Uh, I'm kind of excited to see. They had so many flavors uh, in 2021. I, I just right? I, I can't even imagine what's going to happen in 2022. So here's my idea for the rotten cotton candy idea. That the bag would be called, oh yeah, I'm talking about it. That the bag would be called R O T N C N D Y. I thought it was rotten cotton. Oh, right. R O T N C O T N. R O T N C O T N? Yeah. Rotten cotton. Yeah, but it should be cotton candy, so it'd be rotten candy instead of cotton candy. So it's R O T N. C and D Y, rotten candy instead of cotton candy. Yeah, but that doesn't work because you have to have the word. You don't rotten work. That's Chris guy. You don't work. Then it should be rotten cotton. 
It could be rotten cotton, I guess. <laughs> I like rotten cotton. I think it's funny. It, it, it would be really nice if there was a, a great word that rhymed with candy. Sandy? Uh, brandy. Brandy! <laughs> yeah, but you can't uh, say brandy. brandy's cotton candy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it could just be like, it could have OTN in big letters. And then to the side, to the left of the OTN, it can have a little R on top of a little C. So it's like rotten cotton. Wow, I, I don't know if I've ever hated an idea that much. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you continue to you continue to put up fine competition for it. <laughs> <clears throat> well, that's awesome. Uh, maybe we'll get to see some of that this coming season, so. God, I hope so. That would be awesome. Hell yeah. Well, guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this bad bitch up. Uh, if you guys are subscribed to the podcast, you'll get a little notification, and then you'll get this little bonus episode. And boner, thank you, uh, oh, boner. Boner. Well, Boners! Boners! <laughs> boner! Boner podcast! Um, we are, are working on what we will be doing for season five. There will be a season five of the podcast. Apparently yeah. that's something that we want to, uh, do. Yeah. It probably movie reviews as we were unable to watch movies. <laughs> yes, we yeah. suck at movie reviews. Yeah. We did so two we, of them. We probably... Yeah. We probably will re- re- be reviewing days of the week. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was going to say, like, instead of doing movie reviews where we watch the movie, we should just do movie reviews that, like, only me and you know about and try to explain it to them. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I am in. That would be good. <laughs> would be well, so personally, I thought the original idea was good. So I'm not sure we can accomplish anything good on, on the uh, podcast. Matt. I'm actually with Brandy <laughs> on this. We, we can't yeah, do anything good. Yeah, actually, actually that's sound logic. <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, it, it was a good idea. If uh, other people had uh, had this podcast, I'm sure other people have done <laughs> it. Successful. I think other people do have this podcast. Yeah, I think a lot of people do this podcast. <laughs> and yeah. We had actually, it. Yeah. And we should let them. We should stay in our wheelhouse. Stay in your wheelhouse. Yeah, you fool. Do you guys want a, a podcast that you would find at the bottom of a trash can? Well, that's where you'll find us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there anything else you want to tell, tell the, the people? Nope. I think that's it. Get off my lawn. <laughs> Uh, Grim, did you have anything? Podcast! Okay, well, that contributed a lot. Brandy, did you have anything? <laughs> nope, that's all I got. All right, well, I got nothing. Uh, Wait, I have one fun. thing to say. I have one thing! What? I really like this podcast. It's very oh, good geez. to me. <laughs> nice <laughs> podcast. <laughs> I love you, podcast. I'm going to edit that out. Podcast, I love you so much. You you guys get a room, Jesus Christ. Uh, We're in a room. I can't believe Rim Rim is now in a... I love you, podcast. Torrid love affair. I know you love me. Don't... don't, You love me, podcast. Please stop. Podcast! Oh, my God. Now she's screaming its name. I am so uncomfortable. So, guys, how we always leave the podcast, you stay rotten, you crazy bastards. Stay rotten. Stay Stay rotten. rotten. Stay rotten. Join us next time for another episode of Rotten Mornings.